Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Mrs. Cousteau, how are you? Hi. Hello. Hi. Thank you for joining me once again on the Valder Beebe Show, broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. Thanks That's for always having a us. pleasure. It's my pleasure because you guys are the ultimate water power couple. That's what I'll call you. <laughs> we like it. <laughs> you like it? Well, Ashlyn, if you'll start with us because I know Philippe has great information. <laughs> Will you give us the uh, platform of what you guys are interested in? Because you're so committed. It's true. Thank you so much. Well, today we're here with Take Part because we're actually launching this whole initiative about you know marine mammals in captivity. And we know summer's coming up. We know a lot of families are ready for family vacation. And we want to make sure that, that they know that there's other options. Rather than going to marine parks, you can actually go to many other places to see these beautiful animals in the wild the way they're supposed to be. So that's why Take Park launched this whole thing uh, to show people that there are other options. And the campaign is actually, All right. I was just gonna say the campaign is called Captive, uh, takepark.com slash captive. And, and it is a, a great summer guide for folks uh, that, that care about marine mammals. Why not just let us continue doing what we've always done? Well, you know, the, the, the history of marine mammals in captivity goes almost uh, back almost 100 years. Uh, and the campaign, when it really started to kick into high gear, capturing marine mammals for captivity uh, in the 60s, the campaign against these animals being uh, put into captivity started around then, too. So it's been a long time coming. But there's been a lot of progress lately, particularly with several films and documentaries that have been airing over the last few years that really have shined a light on just how brutal and, uh, and, and unethical keeping these incredible animals in, in captivity is. I mean, think about uh, an orca or a dolphin. This is an animal that will travel hundreds of miles in a day, that it sees with sound, that has complex multi-generational family structures, and we've taken them out of those systems. We've put them into a small, relatively small tank where they swim three times their body length and their world ends in order to entertain us. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, you know, we've, we've fundamentally destroyed the quality of life for a, a, a very intelligent social animal in order to improve the quality of our life for a few brief moments. It, it's just not the way that, uh, that I think people are, are, should be spending their time and spending their dollars this summer. Ashlyn, as a family person, speak to my audience. Tell them why it's important maybe to look at a different option. I think it's really important because you want to show your children and your family members, you want to show them love and compassion. That's what we all hope for. And to see these animals, these very intelligent, like Philippe said, marine mammals in captivity, they really are suffering. So you don't want to share that with your family. So for us, it's really all about going to see these animals in their true wild habitat. We were recently up seeing the orcas, the wild orcas, right off the coast of Seattle. And it was one of the most amazing experiences we've had together. And so the fact that if you love dolphins or you love orcas, you can go find them in the wild and you can see them swimming happy and swimming free. So for me, that's what I want to teach my family is, is to see nature as it really truly does exist. Philippe, you've got a long history. People know who you are because of your name. And now that SeaWorld has, has changed their process, how do you think, you know, this, uh, this impacts what you've, your family has always believed? Well, I think it demonstrates that, that education and the work that three generations of my family have dedicated their lives to is working. That we are, uh, as a society, as, as a people, we're recognizing that uh, we, we don't have the right to 
to coop up these, these incredibly smart animals uh, for our enjoyment. And as Ashlyn said, there's such a difference. You know, I've been to marine parks before. I, I've seen them. Uh, the difference between seeing these animals in captivity and seeing them in the wild is like night and day. And part of uh, the resources that the captive program online has, you know, on top of videos and infographics and, a, and an incredible sweepstakes where people can win a trip to the Sea of Cortez and see gray whales in the wild in San Ignacio Bay, which is one of my favorite experiences. There's a sweepstakes online as well. But there's also tools uh, and resources to find out really responsible ways from the East Coast and the West Coast mm -hmm to go and see marine mammals in the wild, see them, you know, take your family on a, on a once in a lifetime experience that they'll never ever forget rather than, you know, going to see these animals that are highly stressed and that are, that are negatively impacting their lives and their, their lifespan is maybe a third of what it would be in the wild, uh, in captivity. So as Ashlyn said, it's, it's the kind of thing that we really want people to recognize they can have a wonderful experience with their families and teach them something. Mm -hmm. Ashlyn and Philippe Cousteau, you guys are truly a power couple and you're a power for good. Where do you want us to go one more time? Where do you want my audience to go online? Takepart.com slash captive. Thank you for gracing the Valder BB show and lending your voice. I admire what you do. Thank you very much. We're big Thanks, fans, Valder. Thank you so much.